I just went on a walk with my son, and I live in this neighborhood that's like Pleasantville. Everybody has kids, everybody's about 35 to 45, and entrepreneurs and that whole kind of thing. And the mask has created not just social distancing, but emotional distancing in a neighborhood where everybody previous to COVID-19 was hearts open. Hey, how are the kids? Like that kind of thing where it's turned into like, are you my enemy and are you going to kill my kids? Right, and, right. And that has been a very interesting thing to keep cleaning up in my own consciousness. Um, because I know I'm the source of all of these things. And so daily, I'm actually having to and getting the the opportunity to continuously relook at how I'm being and what's actually true and real. Shakespeare said, a coward lives a thousand deaths. And I've heard that and, and thought about it. And then I started to think about how a lot of us are doing that now. We're, we're mentally rehearsing for worst case scenarios when in truth, in fact, in real time, what's really here is this beautiful beating heart, uh, amazing friends and family and people who love me. The sun is shining. The trees are reaching towards the sun. All kinds of amazingness is happening now. And yet I've noticed in my clients and even in myself at times getting caught into the sort of the vortex of the conspiracies and the looking at society and going, is this real? That I began to mentally rehearse something that I don't actually want to experience. And therefore, the, the cells of my body mm. have that experience. And then my vibration lowers. And then I'm no longer available for what God, Spirit, Buddha, Krishna, Jesus, and Allah, all of the above, is trying to speak to, through, and as me.